Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Awakening Taurus 1111. This video is going to be all about 2020 planetary retrogrades. This is going to be the first video in two videos I make. Um, this first video, I'm going to cover planets from Mercury through Saturn. So let's get right into it. Um, one thing to keep in mind is I, I've already made a Mercury retrograde specific video and I explained what retrogrades are. So if you're having any issues understanding what a retrograde is, go back and watch that video. Okay. So let's get right in. So one thing to remember is each planet that's in retrograde is, is going to have a reflection point. That's really what, what, um, retrogrades are about is reflecting. And so when their energy is not direct, it's indirect. So there becomes a lot of reflection points. And so each planet has specific things that it covers. So I'm going to go through those things. And then I'll also mention the dates and also what sign they're retrograding in. Okay. So Mercury actually will retrograde three times in the year of 2020. It actually already retrograded from February the 10th through March the 10th. And it retrograded in the sign of Pisces and then transited into the sign of Aquarius. The second retrograde for the year for Mercury is June the 19th through July the 12th in the sign of Cancer. So it's actually in retrograde right now during the time I'm making this video. So, um, and then the last retrograde for Mercury is from October the 14th through November the 3rd. And that will be retrograding in the sign of Scorpio and then transiting into the sign of Libra. Now, Mercury naturally rules over the signs of Gemini and Virgo. So those signs will be affected by the retrograde. Um, also, whatever sign that it's retrograding in is also affected strongly. And remember, for Mercury, the reflection point is planning, research, and preparing. So those things may come up, especially for those signs that I mentioned during this period. Okay, the next planet is Venus. And the reflection point for Venus will be money and love. Of course, Venus is the planet of money and love. So it's, it's kind of typical that those would be um, the things that would come up. It's um, retrograding from May 13th through June 25th in the sign of Gemini. So Gemini will be affected. And then it also naturally rules, Venus naturally rules the sun signs or zodiac signs of Taurus and Libra. And one thing to keep in mind is also if you were born on a cusp, and if you don't know if you were born on a cusp or not, you can go back and watch my videos that I made on specific zodiac signs, I list all the cusp dates. So you can go back and watch that video. But if you're born on one of these cusp of these signs, it could also be strongly affected by this retrograde. Next planet is Mars. And Mars's reflection point will be tasks that were left unfinished, redoing something, repairing something. So those things could come up. The dates that it's retrograding in is from September the 9th through November the 14th. And it will be retrograding in the sign of Aries. The natural, Mars naturally rules Aries and it's also retrograding in Aries. So that is going to be a really strong point of, of energy for that sun sign of Aries during this time. And you may, you may have Aries somewhere in your chart. Um, in your natal chart, that's actually really prominent too. Like if you have a moon in Aries, you have a Venus in Aries. Um, so things like that may be also affected. Um, if you don't know what your signs are, you can, for your, for your full natal chart, I have a video. If you go back and watch part two of natal chart basics, it will show you exactly how to pull your natal chart. If you're curious into doing that and getting more detail. So the next planet is Jupiter. Jupiter's reflection point is visions, ideals, and belief systems. 
Um, the retrograde is actually occurring right now also during this video. So we have several planets in the solar system in retrograde right now. But it will retrograde from May 14th through September the 13th in the sign of Capricorn. And Jupiter naturally rules the sign of Sagittarius. So those two signs will be greatly affected by this re retrograde. And then the last planet is Saturn. Saturn's reflection point would be long-term goals, responsibilities, and duties. So these things could come up as a reflection point. Um, it's retrograding from May 11th through September the 29th in the sign of Aquarius and then transiting into the sign of Capricorn. And this is also currently going on. So you have the planet of uh, Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn all in retrograde right now. Venus just went back direct uh, on the 26th of June. It was in retrograde. Um, and then Mars, of course, is coming up on September the 9th. Um, back to Saturn. Um, Saturn nat naturally rules the sun sign or zodiac sign of Capricorn. Okay? So this has been the first part of the video for retrogrades of 2020. I'll cover the rest of the planets in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or concerns, anything you want to bring up, please leave it in a comment down below. If you haven't already joined my channel, please do, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.